what's up guys it's mike for sim racing 604 welcome to r factor 2 and the formula e cars so formula e is, for those not familiar is an open wheel car with an electric motor hence the formula e so um R Factor 2 somewhat recently released the Formula E pack along with the Hong Kong circuit. Uh, so it's the 2018 spec Formula E cars along with a, uh, I believe Hong Kong is where they start their season off. So it's uh, race one there. I don't know the Hong Kong track, so I'm not going to run it. I'm just here at Lime Rock with no chicanes, just for simplicity. And just going to do a little review and drive of the Formula E cars. So as far as I'm aware, these are the first Formula E cars in sim racing. I know there's one floating around on race department for Assetto Corsa, but from what I'm hearing, it's it's got potential, but it's not quite there yet. I don't think there's any uh, external sounds yet. So uh, not that you'd miss it in this car. <laughs> You'll notice that, uh, of course, with the electric engine, all you hear is just kind of a whistling and... Uh, yeah, you're on your own to imagine the glory days of, you know, V10s or something like that. All right, so off we go. Uh, one thing of note here, there are only two gears in this thing. So uh, here at Lime Rock Park, we can just leave it in second gear and just uh, run the whole track without shifting. So uh, very, very interesting there. Uh, handling wise it handles similar I would say it's somewhat similar to a Formula 3 car maybe a bit less uh, grippy than a Formula 3 car so we're gonna chase this guy down nicely rendered graphically by the way for uh, DX11 as R Factor 2 moves into uh, I'm guessing it's gonna be soon when they go into uh, Full DX11 right now. I believe it's in open beta still. That's what I'm running. I think it looks very sharp. Let's see if we can get by this guy. Stuff without uh, the advantage of gearing, let me tell you. Um, so I guess the question would be what role does this fill in in sim racing and quite frankly I think it's kind of the question excuse me the answer to the question nobody's asking I don't think anybody really wanted uh, you know an open wheel car with an electric engine in sim racing now is that where real life sim racing is going or excuse me real life racing is going quite possibly things are moving more and more electric every year and I think we're just gonna see that technology continue to improve and probably eventually race cars there are Pretty hybrid at the Formula One level so it wouldn't surprise me to see them go full electric at some point but uh, for the time being I mean you guys can hear that it's it's not what you expect from a race car sound wise and performance wise that it was just, a 58.24 just kind of throws everything we know about racing out the window now maybe I'm just kind of an uh, old-school guy I grew up watching IndyCar um, and a tiny bit of Formula One so I'm used to you know the real scream machines and uh, this is not that so maybe it's just me maybe I just need to get with the times and realize that uh, electric is where everything is going but for now, I'm going to continue to be that old curmudgeon and just say, as I said, this is kind of the answer to the question that nobody was asking. But um, as far as the work that uh, they have done with this car, I think it's it's quite fun to drive. It, it's it's very very interesting. Um, it's as I say, it, it kind of analogous to a Formula 3 car performance wise uh, minus the transmission of course it's interesting to just kind of lock it in second gear and drive a whole the track was a 57.11 so there is fun to be had definitely but um, I don't know I don't see myself becoming a regular driver of this maybe perhaps this is ahead of its time and we'll just see more and more electric vehicles coming to sim racing but uh, for the time being, I just uh, yeah, it doesn't doesn't really grab me. Um, I really enjoyed the last GT3 pack that they put out for R Factor 2. I thought it was overpriced, but I thought they had done nice work with it. But uh, and and same with this, I guess. I think they've done nice work for what it is. 
but what it is doesn't really interest me unfortunately so um, if you're looking for a review if you're looking for kind of a buy do not buy with this car I don't know I'm on the fence if you're into Formula E and I know the fan base is growing uh, every day uh, I think it's a great car but if you are a fan of the you know, lap was a 56.96 if you're a fan of what I would consider pure open wheel racing um, whoop. this is my punishment for talking bad about Formula E it's gonna run me off the track um, yeah, if you're a fan of kind of the more traditional uh, open wheel racing, Formula One, IndyCar, things like that, uh, maybe Formula Two, uh, I would probably swing wide of this one. If you happen to have a friend that owns it, maybe give it a test drive. Um, a little bit fun to drive, but there's just nothing that thrills me. I remember when uh, when Race Room released their uh, what did they call it the uh, XSR 17 or whatever. It was the V10 open wheel car that was supposed to be as close to Formula One as they could get without a license. And I remember when that car came out, that it was just was a 59.13. It was just so exciting to have. And uh, yeah, this uh, there's no excitement behind this to me. Uh, as I say, maybe I'm just kind of old school and whatever else, but. Uh, yeah, there's no uh, there's no thrill in this one for me. Will it have an online following? Quite possibly, quite possibly. I think the uh, kind of lower ranking uh, uh, Formula cars are building online. The Formula Ones are just so hard to drive. Well, uh, you go in an online lobby with somebody who actually knows how to drive, you know, the Formula Hybrid or something like that in a Seto Corsa and uh, they're just smoking everybody it just be whoops just becomes really unfun really fast and uh, you know the lower ranking cars the F2s the F3s and uh, maybe even Formula 4 tends to kind that of level 57.52 tends to kind of level the playing field a bit so maybe we'll see that with the Formula E um, so I'll wrap it up guys I know I haven't really committed to much uh, I'll go back to my previous summary the best I can say is uh, traditional uh, you know v6 hybrid kind of formula fans or I don't I'm embarrassed to say this I don't know what engine IndyCar is run anymore I'll have to research that but uh, anyway uh, gasoline based uh, uh, cars, you know, V6s, V8s, whatever it may be, uh, you probably will get less out of this than fans of Formula E. But for what it is, I believe they've done a great job. They're great looking cars. We can see that one off to my left there. And we'll take a look in replay view here soon. And they've done a great job with what it is. It just doesn't move me. I hope that helps you guys. Uh, the pack is that available. Was a one zero zero point one zero. The pack is available right now. As I say, you can get it in, in bundled with the Hong Kong track, and uh, you know, add one more track to the R Factor collection. R Factor Two, pardon me. And yeah, that's gonna do it. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching.